<laughs> Santé. <laughs> Cheers to um, another year another of growing year. in the garden, cooking, and using um, all of the lovely produce to make a nice Christmas dinner. Yeah, so we thought we will be making a Christmas series for everyone with um, four special plant-based recipes to be a bit more creative with what you have in your garden, in your kitchen. What do we have here, Vicky? We have a rum hot chocolate yeah. spiced with cinnamon. Cinnamon. What else? With a bit of chilli mm. and five spices. And nutmeg. Plus, and not nutmeg. Oh, not nutmeg. Uh, and this is Okay, let's make a rum chili hot chocolate. So to make really good hot chocolate, in my opinion, is to use the actual chocolate tablet instead of a powder and let it melt with a bit of milk. This is oat milk, by the way. And you get this kind of really deep chocolatey flavor. Step one, in a pan, melt 75 grams of chocolate then pour over a whole carton of oat milk, chili, cloves, five spices, and let it infuse for a little moment. I am burning a cinnamon stick, and then so the smoke can actually infuse the um, mug, and then we can have a cinnamon infused chocolate. Uh, don't wanna make whipped cream, whipped vegan cream, because it's a bit of a faff. Um, you can use coconut or aquafaba, but we just want to use this uh, ready-made um, oat cream and I'll be adding uh, some of our pumpkin butter which is essentially pumpkin puree with a lot of crisp spices and sugar. Last step, pour over the hot chocolate with a bit of oat cream and pumpkin butter and you're good to go. Enjoy and bon appétit! Holy moly, mm. that is really good. Mm. Mm, warming. It's actually not too like rum, like rummy rum. Rum, 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 rum. <laughs> it's spicy though. It's, it's, good. it's, it's, you can really taste the cinnamon actually. Mm. Okay. Next one. 